Over the past couple of years on Shipping TV, we have kept a watch on Britain's port developments, including DP World's £1.5 billion London Gateway. Now at the start of 2014, we are moving our new port focus north, to Liverpool 2, Peelport's two-berth container terminal on the River Mersey. To get a clear idea of the scale of this development, let's see their own descriptive and informative video. The Mersey Docks and Harbour Company is to construct and operate a deep water river terminal in the outer Mersey estuary. It will be known as Liverpool 2. Liverpool 2 will provide two new berths at the Port of Liverpool for the latest generation of post-Panamax vessels, each carrying up to 13,500 containers. Mersey Dock is an existing and substantial water impoundment stretching from Sandon to Seaforth, some three miles of waterfront. The Port of Liverpool is well situated, with 10 motorways within 10 miles of the waterway and 10 rail-linked terminals within the Port Estate. Regular coastal services operate from the Port of Liverpool to Dublin, Isle of Man, Belfast, the River Clyde and Glasgow. Vessels deliver cargo from around the globe directly into the heart of the city and the centre of the UK. Liverpool 2 will be a new two-berth facility for vessels 380 metres long, 50 metres wide and 15 metres deep. Close to Royal Seaforth Dock and adjacent to the Gladstone River entrance, it is located just six miles from Liverpool city centre. To prepare the foundation for the quay wall, dredgers will remove circa 500,000 cubic metres of silt and clay exposing the underlying sands and gravel which top the sandstone bedrock. Disposal shall be back into nature for silts using water injection techniques, with the clay being excavated using a large backhoe, barge-mounted excavator for disposal to dedicated sea sites. The new key edge will be built using 400-tonne capacity barge-mounted cranes and piling gates fixed to jack up barges. The 1.8-metre diameter, 40-metre long piles will be pitched and driven through the sands and gravels into the bedrock sandstone. 270 main wall piles will form a structure 850 metres long and 30 metres deep. In total, Liverpool 2 will use 20,000 tonnes of steel. Dredgers will initially import 500,000 cubic metres of material, pumping a mixture of sand and water along a one-kilometre delivery pipe. A spray pontoon at the end of the pipe will place the discharge in layers over the area of the works. Working with the tides, the key wall anchor system is installed using 10-metre-long steel tubes as anchor piles installed 50 metres behind the front wall and 160 millimetre diameter high tensile steel tie bars to effectively anchor the new wall. The level of sandfill is increased to just under the final pavement, well above the influence of the tide. The material is then vibro-compacted to commence consolidation of the newly formed land. Over the next six months, the total settlement is estimated at 15% or between 2 and 3 metres. A total of 3 million tonnes of sand will be used. Additional concrete piles, capped with a reinforced concrete beam, form the foundations for the rear legs of the large ship-to-shore cranes. A similar beam is added to the front wall piles. This front beam is pre-cast in sections and lifted into place, saving time and reducing the safety risk to the workforce working over water. Dredgers are redeployed to excavate the 60-metre wide berth pocket trench to a depth of 25 metres into the bedrock sandstone. For this, one of the largest cutter suction dredgers in the world is required. A labyrinth of drainage interceptors and service pipeworks will be excavated into the fill. Existing stormwater outfalls will be extended and modernised to discharge through the new key wall. The container handling CRMG's rails will be formed. The site will be surfaced and roads made. Key furniture, fenders, bollards and navigational controls will be added. Large ship-to-shore cranes and gantries that have been pre-assembled and tested in factories will be transported to Liverpool on ships. A state-of-the-art terminal operating system will be added to allow automation of the terminal. Fences, barriers and road markings will be put down. 
and welfare and workshops will be constructed. New trade and much bigger vessels will bring 20-foot and 40-foot containers, refrigerated units and tanker units to the terminal in their thousands. These will be unloaded and stored on site before being collected for redistribution throughout the UK. Trucks and cranes will be on the move 24 hours per day, seven days a week. The terminal will never sleep. Liverpool 2, from start to finish, two years of construction and many more in the planning. Over coming months, we'll keep you in the picture with UK port developments here on Shipping TV.